What's up, chicas? Welcome back to my channel. Today's video, we are going to be talking about my 10 products under $10. So it's really hard just to pick 10 products, but I did it. And it's not that these are like my holy, holy girl, but they're among all the awesome products that I love from the drugstore. So let's get started. First off, I, I've been obsessing over the Nivea Men Sensitive Post Shave Balm. This has been my absolute number one primer for my face. My makeup sees my makeup looks a lot different. I love how it actually smooths my pores and it's actually gotten my skin better over time because it says that it will literally make it would actually make your skin look better over time. And I have to say that yes, indeed it has and I've been loving this thing and I still have I would say a quarter left and I bought it about 4 months ago, 3 or 4 months ago, 3 months ago I would say. Yeah. Yeah, I bought it three months ago. How excited am I about it? Yes, three months. But I absolutely love it. If you haven't tried it, I highly recommend it. It's for sensitive skin, so it's not going to harm your skin. If you are oily or whatever, it's not going to make you oily or anything like that because it's pretty much made for like after the guy's shave just to pretty much make sure that they don't get any shave bomb, um, razor bombs. They don't get any like ingrown hairs or anything like that. So it's actually going to help you take care of your skin. I have been loving that and I absolutely love, I absolutely highly recommend to anybody out there if you haven't tried it. The next thing is the Milani 2-in-1 Conceal and Perfect foundation it's the one that has the concealer and the foundation in one and it says it's medium to full coverage it's a lightweight oil-free formula long wearing water resistant and sweat proof yes indeed i have used it in this florida weather in this florida heat and i have managed to stay with my makeup the whole entire time without sweating it off or actually just melting off my face even though it wants to because florida is like 120 degrees that's what it feels like but I absolutely love it. It is a medium to full coverage. And um, I actually pair it up with another foundation of mine, which is Too Faced Born This Way. But I have used it by itself. It's just that it's not my right color. And I have been so lazy that I haven't gone back to Walmart and pick up my actual shade. But I have used it alone the first time. And love that is so full coverage and I love love that it's really light lightweight so if you haven't tried it I highly recommend if you're looking for like full coverage foundation like me then the next thing is the concealer I love the NYX HD concealer I just don't have it and if I had it with me that would be the one I would show you it, NYX HD full cover concealer it's like my top concealer on the drugstore right now I just ran out and haven't bought but I do have the instant age rewind um eraser dark circles i don't understand why it says eraser dark circles i would just call it dark circle erasers eraser but that's what it says on the packaging and that's what we're going to stick to so this right here also it's an amazing concealer if you haven't picked it up i highly recommend it it's so blendable i can apply so much as you guys can see on my tutorials and they are just it's just so blendable. You just grab a beauty blender and it just blends so easily. And it definitely covers my black eyes. Because that's what I have. I have two black eyes. Like someone punched me in the eye. Hey, hey. <laughs> Way to go. The next thing is the uh, to set my under eyes, to set my concealer. And it's the NYX HD Finishing Powder in Banana. Oh, I love this thing right here. It's not a loose powder. It's a pressed powder in banana and it definitely brightens and highlights my under eyes like yes like yes boo boo you do your job because you know mama gonna be happy and mama is happy right now with it right now. <laughs> anyways <laughs> as you guys can see I have hit pan on it I absolutely love this powder it's like amazing it's gonna highlight and it's gonna definitely brighten your under eyes like there's no tomorrow so the next thing is the mascara i have ups i'm obsessed with mascaras i just cannot seem to get enough of mascaras and concealers this mascara was sent to me over and was of course it was sent over this mascara was sent to me and i have to say i've been loving this mascara this is the falsies push-up drama mascara I love any mascara that the wand and the bristles are this small. Any mascara that is this small is going to help give me volume and length to my lashes. 
I have been loving this mascara and I absolutely, once I run out of it, I will definitely buy it. I love this mascara. Then the next thing for the face is a highlight. This, I wasn't able to pick up the new Wet n Wild highlight, the compact highlight, the powder highlights. I wasn't able to find any in my area, but I did came across the highlight stick, which is this one right here. And look at this. I'm just going to show you real quick. All right. I think you can see it there. Look how beautiful that color is. It's like a frosted pink I would say oh I love it when I'm just doing like a subtle look and I've actually used it a couple of times under my um powder highlight and it kind of gives it like an umph to my highlight and I was like whoa I love it it's really really beautiful um I think it's the only drugstore highlight right now that I am obsessed with and I love for the eyes, you guys all know that I love the NYC liquid eyeliner, but I highly recommend this one. If you're looking for a, a liquid eyeliner, this is the Rimmel Ex Exaggerate Eyeliner, and it looks like this. And of course, this will be the part where you apply the... Look how little it is. I think that as the smaller the wand is, the smaller the, the tip is, it's going to be a lot easier for you to um, handle and maneuver and be able to make that wing line even and the way you're looking for it. So that is the reason why I like this one versus um, a little bit more than the NYC because the NYC has the, the it you grab it here, but then you have like a long ass, like, like you have the long ass brush and then it's like all the way on the bottom, like on this side and you just like. You gotta grab like from here so you can actually do it so that's just the reason why i am up i prefer this one over that one right now just because it's a lot easier so if you're looking for a cheap uh, a cheap uh gel or liquid eyeliner i highly recommend this little bad boy from Rimmel. it's really really good for this thing it's i don't know how to explain it it's not a bronzer but now for summer i highly recommend it if you're the type of person that you like to bronze and you like to tan and you like to be shimmery and you have to you like to have a body glow all over then i highly recommend the elf body glow it is a shimmery powder but it also has that bronzy color so once you apply it oh my god i love it i absolutely love it i got this last year and i od'd on it every time i would go out i would just all over my torso my arms definitely my legs i loved it of course if not if, not, if i'm going to the beach because i'm just gonna look like weird wearing this to the beach but if you're on vacation and you're like just recently got a tan you dust this all over yourself girl and you are the glow goddess of the place like literally yes honey like that i love this thing right here i love it now for summer it's amazing and if you guys see that I kind of put my curling wand on top of it and it melted. Let's move on. Pretend it never happened. Now for lipsticks and lippies. Ha! Ah, I said it. Lip is not me. Now you didn't say it. You said you put too much, put too much emphasis on it and you won't say it. These have been my holy girl lipsticks, lip stains, liquid lipsticks mousses anything you want to call it these bad boys these are the nyx lingerie this is just a yeah they're just called nyx lingerie it doesn't say lip stain it doesn't say liquid lipstick it doesn't say anything like that but these bad boys have been my holy grail the 07 is the per no, is it the 07 i'm sorry yeah mm, yeah the 07 is the perfect nude color out there per Effect. you guys see that I wear by itself I wear under any other lipstick right now I'm wearing it under the um, Razzy Razzy um, lip line lipstick just to tone everything down and make it look a little bit more on a natural side I have loved I've been loving this thing right here and it's so smooth and it doesn't dry my lips or crack them or anything like that I don't know if you guys can see it thanks for the lighting yep right there I absolutely love it any call up I think any color that you will pick it will definitely be good it's just that i love nude now for lip gloss ladies i you guys know that it's very rare for me to see myself with lip gloss but this lip gloss has managed to be my baby over and over again whenever i wear any lip gloss it's because i'm wearing this right here i bought the kylie jenner one and i'm like no nothing like this baby right here this is the baby lips um Baby Lip Something Lip Gloss. I can't see. I'm blind as a bat. But I just think 
it is the perfect nude gloss it goes perfectly I don't know if you guys can see it right there it goes perfectly with any lipstick you wear it's gonna tone it down but it's not gonna add additional color that it's gonna hide the lipstick that you're wearing it's just going to give you like a glossy look and your lips are gonna look so plummy and so full so kissable so attractable and it's definitely not sticky so if you're kissing or if you're doing whatever you're eating it's not gonna be like super sticky it's not like you're just gonna close your lips like and you can't open no it's the perfect amount of glossiness and stickiness and i just love this gloss right here so you tell me what's your top 10 on the 10 Leave it in the comment section down below because I'm always looking for new opportunities. And especially they're from the drugstore. And less than $10? Heck yeah. I made it. So let me know what are your top 10 under 10 on the comment section below. And if you like this type of videos, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, go ahead and do so right there. Thank you so much for sticking till the end. Besotes, be blessed, precious pearls. I will see you ladies on my next video. Bye.